Ahoy, shipmates. Seems like a long time since we've been out for a little flight in port. And this uh, weekend, or rather it was last weekend, uh, was spectacular. So I made sure the drone was charged, had to update all the firmware on the drone, as per usual, every time you take it out after a couple of weeks. Get down in port just in time to catch the one stalk. You may or may not know, depending if you're a frequent viewer to the channel, but the one range of container ships is perhaps my favourite. One or Ocean Network Express has a range of container ships that are painted in the company's colour of magenta. It's a Japanese company and magenta symbolises the Cherry Blossom Festival, which is around about this time of year. So most appropriate. The Cherry Blossom Festival is only oh, about a week, thereabouts, and that's where all the cherry blossom trees come into blossom, all the blossom falls to down, it's all falls down, very pretty. And often these cherry trees are in unusual locations, cemeteries and parks and such like. And then you actually go to the cemeteries in Japan and have a little party with your friends, celebrate the cherry blossom falling, and have a nice day. Uh, it's open space is so difficult to come by that uh, cemeteries are considered an appropriate place for a celebration. Right, I'm feeling like a photograph coming up here. I, yeah, I, I, yeah the bad. Pity about the IKEA in the background, but it's got a lovely blue tug and a different tug pulling and great selection of colours of containers there and I've got a jewel, I think it's jewel of the seas in the background and a row row so, um, uh, yeah it's okay I'm I think possibly I could have got my positioning better it's tricky really because you can't uh, you can't pause the ships once they're moving and although I can move the drone around sometimes by the time I've moved it somewhere I think will take a good picture and you end up with uh, it not be a good picture you're in the wrong place and all goes to pop, but uh, I think I'm going to go for one down here. This might be better. I feel I feel this could be. Better. Oh, I think that's quite nice. The sun is just sort of hitting more or less the bow straight on, so the port side's not too much shade. Yeah, that was pretty decent. You can see the glorious sunny day here in port. As you may suspect, the one stalk is named after a bird. Well, this is, in fact, the bird class of container ship. I'm sure you're all familiar with the bird, the stalk. But they also have a Cygnus, an Apus, of course, a Columbia, Aquila, stalk, wren, owl, swan, falcon, hawk, crane, eagle, ibis and blue jay. Oh, we had the Blue Jay in not so long ago. I'm going to have to uh, keep filming these. And I'll hope to get the whole collection. A reasonable size container ship. Uh, 364 metres long. A beam of 50 metres. A draft of 15.8. But in terms of capacity, which is where they're really rated, uh, she falls short of having a a decent cargo, although it's looking quite full here, which is unusual. Most of our container ships seem to leave quite empty. But she's got a capacity of 14,000 TEU, or as they more specifically call that, 20-foot equivalent units. Most of those containers you see there are 40-foot equivalent units, so they'll be probably in the region of capacity for about uh, 6,000, 7,000 containers of the 40-foot variety. Well, that's not too bad. Tricky with the shadow, though. And look at the water here. Not a very pretty colour. Round the other way, it was beautiful green. And here it's a bit sort of... How do I describe it? Sort of healthy-looking pea soup. 
but while I'm here, I'm going to go for a little slow sweep around here. I'm going to try, because I think the sun is on the starboard side, so maybe I can get some decent colours. That's interesting. Yeah, well, I've not done one before with that. I quite like the fact you've got a cruise ship in the background. Yeah, but it's... I could see that. I'm on a news article for exports leaving the country. Of course, that is my ambition to get, get my photographs into the popular press. Well, if you like my photographs, if you join the Patreon, you can get access to the images. And you can pop them on your computer or print them off and stick them on your cabin wall. You can see it's quite a busy port here. Got a couple of cruise ships in, a couple of row rows. Oh, I think that's probably better being higher up. You can see a bit more going on, can't we? See the tugs. That's the Queen Elizabeth, I believe, at the front. It's a while since I've done this video. So normally I try to do them the same day, but I've been rather busy lately. But I shall just speed this up. I've been installing new live cams, more new live cams to come. And then once that's sort of settled in, I should be able to get on with the videos. Red Kestrel there at the top, nipping by, freight only. And the other one, the red funnels. Not well, too big, a couple more videos to come over the next couple of days. If you're enjoying this content, shipmate, please think about subscribing. Until next time.